Hey everyone, it's Mark Weens with Migrationology.com. I'm in Osaka, Japan, and this mid-morning, it's almost 11 a.m., we are waiting. Oh, Ying is in line first at an udon restaurant. And so, the, they should open in a couple minutes. We are first in line, and I'm looking forward to this udon meal. The time has come, we are entering the udon restaurant. All right, I think we have decided Ying is gonna go for this cold noodle nest, and I think I might have to go for that. My curry udon has just arrived, and that is quite a large bowl. Look at it compared to my hand. Thick udon noodles on the bottom, plus a thick gravy curry, and then thin strands of green onions, I believe. And this is Ying's. She got the cold udon, and it's topped with what looks like thin pieces of maybe pork, and then another egg on top of that, plus some kind of sprouts, and it's in a dark sauce, and it's served cold. It feels like ice on the bottom of the bowl. Served cold, and oh man, oh, just look at that egg jiggle. <laughs> okay, and let me puncture that. Oh, 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 that is a perfect, perfect egg. Okay. Oh, look at that. Maybe I should not let it run, just, it's like a little volcano. Oh, that's so, that's so intensely beautiful. And let me take some of that ginger. There's some ginger on the side there. Let me put some of that ginger. And I think I will actually try not to destroy the whole thing for Ying, but just take some of that side there. Oh, oh, look at that. And the spoon is also very cool. Maybe I'll add a little bit of that soup to the top there. All right, I think my first bite is ready to go. Mm. Oh wow, that is ridiculously good. The noodles are so thick and they are kind of sticky and a little bit chewy in a very, very good and fresh way. And then that pork is just, kind of tastes like sukiyaki style. It's a little bit sweet and a little bit salty. And then with that egg, which just coats it in glorious richness. And then those green onions and those sprouts. This is sensationally delicious. Oh, and I got a, I got a good bite of ginger in there as well, which heightened the flavor. I'm gonna have to take one more bite before I give it back to her. We got a plate of chicken wings as well, and they look they look pretty crispy golden, like they've been shallow fried, but you can see some kind of spice seasoning on them as well. Oh, oh that's so juicy. Ying's udon is gonna be hard to top, but I got my curry, and there's another soft boiled egg, and green onions. I think mine might be, oh no, there is some meat down here. Oh, is that chashu? No, just thin strips of meat and, oh man, I'm gonna break, I guess I'll break my egg again. That's one of the most fun things to do in the entire world, break an egg yolk. Okay, and let me go in. Oh, oh, mixing into that curry. Oh, there is quite a bit of meat down there. All right. <laughs> it just smells like pure comfort. Oh. I got, I got a ten blue green onion. Oh, that's awesome too. Those same sticky, chewy udon fresh noodles. The curry is really rich and creamy, just with a a mild but soothing amount of like curry powder flavor in it. The meat is tender, and then those green onions just give it a fresh touch. I'm gonna add some of this chili powder and sesame seeds, and it's not really spicy, just a tiny bit spicy, but it adds another dimensional fragrance to it. And I love those black sesame seeds. This bowl of noodles is so hearty and so good, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna work on practicing my slurp. Mm. 
。ありがとう。Just finished eating that udon, and that was insanely good. I think that it has given me a new appreciation for udon noodles. The texture, it was all about that texture. And yeah, just so good and so flavorful. And I think Ying's, Ying's cold noodles, I think that was my favorite one. After that bowl of udon, we are just taking a leisure walk around an old area of Osaka, which is something, I think it's called Nakaza Kinishi. Uh, but this is、uh, an area where they have a lot of old buildings and they have some small shops and cafes and little restaurants. But a really nice and peaceful area. People are riding their bikes and just strolling around. We're just gonna take a little stroll around here for a little bit. We have just walked upon a coffee shop that's called Lumps. Lumps Coffee Shop, and I think I cannot resist. Going to have a coffee right now. Should be just down here. Hello. I just ordered a drip coffee, and this is a really cool shop. <laughs> hey. Okay. Thank you. Arigato. Thank you. Here are really friendly, and this is just a cool, chill out spot. But yeah, handmade drip coffee. I love coffee. Oh, that's so smooth. Oh, that's, that's really good. Oh, zero acidity. Excellent coffee. Oh, very good. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Good coffee. Thank you. We walked around Umeda area for a few hours and did a little bit of shopping and just wondering. And now we are back at the house, at the apartment. We're gonna do a little bit of work and just hang out for a few hours and then maybe go out later this evening for dinner and to wander around some more. I got some good work done this afternoon for a couple of hours. Now we are heading to an area called Chin Saibashi、uh, to go walk around and wander and eat dinner. We got off the subway at Shin Saibashi Station and now we are walking towards an area called Amemura, which is known as Little America. And it's supposed to be just kind of a hangout, trendy area of town. We have made it to Little America, and one of the most famous things here is takoyaki. So we're gonna stop here at this restaurant to get some takoyaki. And we got the original version. They put mayonnaise on the top as well as bonito flakes. And it looks sloppy and goopy again. Oh, yeah. That is hot. You have to like suck in air at the same time as you bite down on a takoyaki. It's very goopy on the inside. And with those little bites of octopus in the middle. We have just been walking around the Shin Saibashi area for a bit, and I think we're gonna stop in this restaurant for some food. This is a cafeteria style restaurant, so you just grab a tray and then scoot it, and then you can just choose whatever dish you want. Oh, I gotta have one of these guys. May I help you? Hello. Oh. Yes. Oh, so if we, if we take one, guys, I got us the unknown tag. And then what else do I want? I'll go for this one. Thank you. And then this is the cold section. All sorts of salads. There is sashimi. There is. Vegetables. I think I'll have one of these. Oh, eggplant. Oh, I can never resist eggplant. Okay. Oh, okay. Not. Arigato, arigato. Then, once you get your whole tray of food, then you pay up front. 
and then you can go back to sit. So I got a bunch of different dishes and then rice and the fish and then also some kind of omelet. Now the fish is really good and really oily and juicy and then has a little bit of radish and soy sauce. Mm. Yeah, that fish is so oily. And then I also ordered this omelet, which is like really rolled into like a really tight little burrito type of thing. And yeah, this, this omelet, it's pretty plain, but it's really rich and yeah, Japanese style omelet. And with rice, that's awesome. That's just comfort food. Just finished with dinner at that restaurant. Uh, yeah, pretty good place. Just real comfort Japanese food and I like how you can just grab whatever dish you want and then you can go into the restaurant and eat and they even have a microwave where you can heat up your dishes if you'd like and then you just sit there and it really has an environment feeling like you're at someone's home so it's really uh, yeah just a, a good neighborhood home style restaurant and we are now gonna just walk around and do a little bit of wandering We made it back to our subway station and gonna walk back to our apartment. So we're, I'm gonna end the vlog for today here. But I wanna say again, thank you very much for watching today's vlog. Please remember to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. And I will see you tomorrow for another day in Japan. Movie, movie. Movie! 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 Okay, thank you. What is your name? Yano. 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 Thank you, man. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So it is not the end of the day yet. Uh, Dwight, here's the story, Dwight borrowed an umbrella a couple nights ago before we arrived to Osaka because it was raining. He was at this restaurant, this restaurant that we're at right now, and he borrowed an umbrella to take home with him. And he was supposed to return the umbrella a couple nights ago, but he forgot. And so Dwight and I finally came back tonight to return the umbrella. And they invited us in to stay for some yakitori and to have and to just chill here. So we are hanging out. There are a lot of really friendly and awesome people. And these guys, we just met a bunch of guys and we are sitting down for some, for some yakitori right now. And it, this whole place just smells like chicken smoke grilling. This is, looks like white breast chicken meat with some kind of a green sauce on it. Oh. oh. That's so, so incredibly juicy and tender. Oh, is that the yuzu sauce? The sauce almost has like a citrusy component to it, but really a little bit sour and almost tastes like a salsa. Oh, that's awesome. What I think is chicken thigh with leek. And just look at that smoky char on it and that dark sauce. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> boxing, boxing. One, two, three. Okay. Hey! Hey! Oh. Oh, so they. We have all just had a, a shot of a cup of sake. That's really good and really smooth and it has a has a little bit of a floral a floral flavor to it. One, two, two, three. English, English. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm really I'm really And you can click like below. Quick, ready, real.
わからん。